don't count on a Trump Biden debate this fall. This is something that um, I actually was looking forward to, but uh, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna either they're gonna make Biden drop out or something. He's not gonna end up making it because um, if he do make it all the way to the time that is it, the time that it is for debate, um, they're gonna come up with some excuse for him not to debate because there's no way they can have this guy live in front of people, live in front of millions talking. Uh, debating, having to use his mental um, his mental abilities <laughs> against Trump. There's no way because Trump will crush him. So they're going to figure out some way to make make sure that Biden doesn't make it to uh, to the debate this fall. But we're going to talk a little bit about that. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, this article comes from Tristan Justice from The Federalist. They report that President Joe Biden is too senile to face felony charges but fully expects another four years in the Oval Office. And that's, that's a great point. They said that he can't. He, they, they, a jury would never convict him because he he's he's old. He he has terrible memory problems, but yet they running it. This guy's running for to be president for another four years. This makes absolutely no sense. But there is no logic when it comes to the left. But last week, the president sought to reassure voters of his fitness for re-election with the hasty press conference to address the bombshell conclusions outlined in special counsel Robert Hoare's. Uh, um, her, sorry, report on Biden's mishandling of classified documents. President Biden, her team wrote, is an, quote, elderly man with poor memory. Quote, it would be difficult to convince a jury that they should convict him by, by then a former president well into his 80s of a serious felony that requires a mental state of willfulness, her concluded. Biden apparently forgot when he was vice president and struggled to recall the timeline of his son's death in interviews with federal investigators. The president has repeatedly peddled the false claim that his son, Bo, who died of brain cancer in 2015, had actually died in the Iraq war, which ended four years earlier. I mean, time and time again, he keeps saying that to people. Um, quote, quote, my memory is fine, the president exclaims in last week White House press conference during which he confused the president of Mexico with the president of Egypt. They should have asked him, they should have asked him right then and there, did your son die of cancer or did he die in the war? Because you're giving us two conflicting stories. They should have asked him that to see what, how he how he would have answered. But um, let's let's take a look at this, uh, this clip here. This is um, tweeted out by the Federalist. They said in the speech focused on rebuking claims of memory failings, Biden says he talked to the president of Mexico. Let's check it out. And of course, it's not playing. So let me click here, watch on X to see if it'll play. If it'll play on um, X here, give it a second. All right. But it's just, it's just so funny, though. I believe um, how the media, some of the media, still continue to cape for this president when you can clearly see. That this man is um, is struggling uh, with his his mental faculty. He, I mean, it's clear, it's clear, and I'm not. I'm, I, 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 you don't have to be a psychologist or a psychotherapist or a psychiatrist or MD to see that this man is um, definitely struggling. Let's see here. I apologize about this. My slow. Uh, internet here. All right, here we go. Some of you probably already seen this clip. All right. Here we go. I think that, uh, as you know, Initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, 
did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I President talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. I talked to Bibi. To now, it would be okay if this was just a one-off, but this happens time and time again with this president. He has so many slip-ups. But at 81, Biden is already the oldest man to ever sit at the Resolute Desk. The incumbent would be 82 by the time of inauguration next year, sworn in to lead for another four years until 86. Concerns surround the president's age and acumen, however, existed for good reason, even before Biden became the Democrats nominee in 2020 at 77. And I said that's why they hid him away. Um, during, they used the pandemic as an excuse to keep him in the basement. The man literally campaigned from the basement. But Biden has a history of confusing his wife and sister on stage, mumbling through the words of the Declaration of Independence, swapping Super Tuesday with Super Thursday, mixing up for which office he was campaigning and wondering which state he was in more than once. This was all before Biden clinched the Democratic nomination. And I called out all of those things on my old channel. And um, once on a campaign trail, Biden struggled to remain coherent in the few stops beyond the protective confines of his Delaware basement. Um, I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. Shibba dibba da da the pressure. What was that? <laughs> what was that? And this is this is who people voted for. Joe Biden, Barack. Oh, he said Barack and I. It, it it's a right for people to be baka to the care, <laughs> baka to care. Let's play this. Barack and I think it's a right for people to have bad calf care. Bad calf care. <laughs> what is a bad calf care? But of the two debates Biden participated in with President uh, Donald Trump, which featured friendly moderators for the Democrat challenger, the former vice president was often flustered at one point shutting down, uh, quote, will you shut up, man, Biden said. Let's check this out here. If Senate Republicans, we were talking originally about the Supreme Court here, if Senate Republicans go ahead and confirm Justice Barrett, uh, there has been talk about ending the filibuster or even packing the court, adding to the nine justices there. You call this a distraction by the president, but in fact it wasn't brought up by the president. It was brought up by some of your Democratic colleagues in, well, the, saying... in the Congress. So my question to you is you have referred the past to talk about it. Are you willing to tell the American people tonight whether or not you will support either ending the filibuster or packing the court? Whatever position I take on that, that'll become the issue. The issue is the American people should speak. You should go out and vote. You're in voting now. Vote and let your senators know how you strongly you feel. Court? Let Vote now. You pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he doesn't you're want to a senator. The question. I'm not going to answer the question Why because, you answer that because question? the question you is, the question is, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? Who's on your list? Gentlemen, I think this is so unprecedented. He tell the man, shut up. And then he said, this is so unpresidential. But the, the two uh, podium debates already marked the departure from the modern tradition of three on um, on the fall lineup with the town hall form on the calendar in between. The town hall event, however, was called off after the moderator from C-SPAN publicly exposed himself as a partisan hack just before the red carpet showdown. The su uh, supposedly independent commission of presidential debates, which was run entirely by Biden supporters, Proposed moving the planned second debate into a, a virtual cable style matchup to the Democrats' clear benefit. Negotiations ultimately broke down, and Biden refused to participate in the town hall format with an impartial moderator. That's because they couldn't. If he would have did that, um, he, he wouldn't have control over the questions, wouldn't have control over um, um, what's going on. But instead, Biden sat down for a town hall with former Clinton White House uh, Communications Director George Stephanopoulos on ABC News, who completely ignored the recent scandals involving the Biden family influence peddling schemes. Uh, the Commission on Presidential Debates has presented four debates on the 2024 calendar, including three for the major party nominees 
and um, one for vice presidential candidates. Voters, however, are likely to be disappointed if they expect the debate to move forward as planned. Biden's campaign is almost certain to manufacture excuses to protect their octogenarian incumbent from the primetime spotlight for three reasons. Uh, Biden cognition has demonstrably declined. More evidence uh, implicating the president in criminal influence peddling has put Biden under a congressional impeachment inquiry and RNC is finally demanding fair treatment with an impartial form. With roughly three quarters of American voters and half of Democrats possessing serious reservations about Biden's mental and physical health, according to an NBC News survey, Biden is unlikely to risk hours on a live debate uh, debate stage with Trump. This time, Biden will certainly be antagonized with more questions about his family's business schemes that he can't escape. And imagine he he do, he, he doesn't have the mental faculty to re refrain from flipping out or getting really really angry and exploding. So I could see him going off during these debates if he if it does happen. But the president might blame Russia again over the allegations of corruption that surfaced from his son's abandoned Delaware laptop, but even legacy news outlets have finally authenticated the computer years after election. Um, so we'll see what happens. Let me know uh, what you think down below. You think we're going to actually have a debate or do you think the Democrats are going to come up with some type of reason to make it where uh, Biden will not participate in these debates? Um, leave your comments down below, like, share, subscribe, and check out jjdepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.